Um, fuck. Oh my God, do I remember my first day on set? Yes, I do. I got there 15 minutes early like I always do. My first day on set, I almost died. I was really nervous. I would say I was more excited than I was nervous to start porn. It was pretty easy. I was not nervous at all. It was easy. It was cool. I sh can I say who I shot for? Come fiesta. I think it's for finally legal, I guess. It was for fucktard18. It was for kind of an ulti amateurish site based out of Long Beach that was only around for a couple years. People haven't probably haven't heard of it. I was just so confused. I had no idea what what to do. Before we like were about to have sex, I kind of like looked at everyone to see if it's okay to have sex with him in front of people, even though we were fucking filming it <laughs> for everyone. So yeah, it was a lot of like uh, me asking like, is this okay? Or can I do that? Okay, so we take photos and then video and then this and that. So I, it was like a lot of like learning at like how the sets worked and everything. Um, but yeah, I was, I was nervous, like anyone would be nervous. I was so nervous. I think my first time on set was for actually the penthouse. And I was flipping shit. Like I, <laughs> I, I was so nervous. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, okay, breathe. Breathe. Oh my God, they just said something to me. What did they say? It's so exciting, but so nerve wracking at the same time. My first day on set was um, a little nerve wracking. Uh, not for the sex, because I, I know I enjoyed the sex, but it was for more, uh, it was a massage scenes and I was more nervous about, you know, my, my language, my English, that I couldn't speak that well. But after that, you know, it, it, was, it was pretty fun doing it. I, I guess sex doesn't need much talking. Just the talking I was nervous about. I mean, the sex, I'm like, okay, I got the sex. I got that super pussy. The first thing I shot ever was a solo set because that's how I originally started. I just wanted to do solo stuff and it wasn't a big deal for me. Nothing's, I don't know. I feel like nothing's ever that big of a deal for me. Like I kind of just take it as it is and it was super fun. I don't know. I was shooting something called Hardcore Partying and they actually just used to pay frat houses or at USC and UCLA to just host a party. And at that party, there was gonna be sex going on. And so you had a huge number of variables that could go wrong, including dudes spilling beer on you, getting too close, shouting at you, the girl uncomfortable. So the first day, I show up, I take a shower and I'm getting ready. And the soap that I used ended up giving me a chemical burn on my dick. Excellent start to the day. Uh, and then I go and I start doing a blowjob scene with Amy Brooke, and I was going great, but this dude kept like standing over his shoulder, like staring at me in the eyes going, yeah, fuck her harder, fuck her harder. I'm like, just, just, just calm down, man. Like, I'm, I'm gonna fuck her, just calm down. Anyhow, I came on his leg at the end because, well, I got too close. My first day on set ever was awesome. I worked for a great company. Um, the entire crew was so cool. It was really chill and my male talent was awesome and like everybody treated me so great. So I had like the best first experience that anyone probably ever could have had in porn. I was told only that it was gonna be a lesbian threesome and they did not tell me like anything else really. So when I got picked up, he was like, so you know, you're, you're cool with what we're doing today. And I got kind of freaked out like, what what am I doing? I'm just gonna have sex with three, with two girls, it's fine. It's like, yeah, but we're gonna go trapezing first. We're gonna teach you how to go, how to like trapeze. So I got trapeze lessons on my first day of porn, which was super fun. The girls were really nice. I got lucky, they were really nice. Cause I've been on sets with some girls who are not nice. My first day on a porn set, I was actually an extra and I was in a porno called In the VIP. So there's about like 20 some odd girls at least. And you gotta wear like a dress or a skirt with like some hot, you know, booty shorts or a thong or whatever. You get paid like 250 bucks. And uh, so I did that. And they were trying to get me to be one of the girls who fucks on like fucks on camera and I was like nah like you know one I'm on my period so that's not happening and then two like that's just not what I'm here for I'm here to be an extra and all this shit but um yeah it was really cool I loved it I made out with chicks but I kept doing the extra because in the VIP they they'll let you do it a couple of times or whatever and I did it about four or five times 
and each time I would kind of like do a little bit more like I think like the next time I think I went down on a girl or something like that like I was always like playing with the girls and everything and and then yeah and then I hit up Bang Bros and was like hey can I have my own porno scene? I was working with Devil's Films and I was doing a pegging scene. A pegging scene in the industry is um, where I put a strap on and I fuck a guy in the ass and they take it like a champ. And I, I meet everybody and uh, my male talent finally uh, gets there and um, he has to go warm up himself. <laughs> so of course they chose a very nice sized dildo. So I remember him going into the, <laughs> into the bathroom to try to warm himself up. <laughs> they do pretty girl shots and then they do a teaser, this little like dance teaser for the video. And um, I had to like do this dance with my strap on and my, <laughs> my dildo dick. <laughs> and then we did the scene. They fed us the lines that we did. So I had to like go and we would, they'd be like, all right, I want you to say this. And then we would shoot it and then I would say it and then we would cut. All right, I want you to say this. And it was very broken down. And then uh, the sex part was <laughs> very um, interesting. I worked with a girl who I normally wouldn't have sex with in real life, in my personal life. I uh, did not find her that attractive. I think like what I was most surprised about was probably just like all the photos that you take in porn, like I didn't realize, like the pretty girls and then the boy girl stills, like it's just, that consumes like a large part of your day. If you wanna count the photo set with Lily Kate, I was very nervous, like I said, I hadn't even planned on shooting, it was my first time shooting ever. And Lily was more than extra helpful on everything, telling me, you know, this is how you pose. And sometimes when you do photos, it's always good to make the noises with it so that it actually comes out good in the photos, you know? It was fun. I had blasts with it. I've always been an exhibitionist, so I was good about getting naked in front of a camera. I was just happy to be naked and people were paying me to do something I would do anyway. So, <laughs> like, I was like, I get to run around naked, you're gonna take pictures and I get money for this? Awesome, deal. My agent at the time just sent me to set, and I'm like, I didn't know I had to pick a name. Like, that's how I started. I shot for Naughty America. They were really nice to me. I wasn't really nervous, so I just, you know, I knew that this was what I wanted to do, so I was just excited to be working. You know, it's kind of like now, just happy to be still working. It was an easy experience. It was with Johnny Sins, who's also really hot, you know what I mean? And uh, it was, I was, I was just, it, it flowed for me. My first time on set was, um, well, very first time was with my husband, so we did um, bondage and forced orgasms. That was super, super hot. Um, the first time I worked with another model, I was supposed to do a strap-on scene, and the funniest thing is I couldn't find her vagina. I couldn't find the hole. <laughs> so I was struggling with the strap-on, and she was in this like position, and I was like poking, and I couldn't find it. I was poking, and then to the point where at like after a certain amount of time, we stopped and I was like, I can't find the hole. <laughs> it was for the Grinch Who Gaped Christmas and Joanna Angel was being spray painted green from her head to her toe at every crack in between. And I show up and I'm like, is this what a porn set is? Like, <laughs> is everyone getting in costume and getting spray painted from their head to their toe? Oh God, it was terrifying. My first day on set was so scary. Um, my first time doing porno, I was on Haze Her, which was a college sorority hazing scene. And I was being hazed into a sorority. It was my first time on camera naked, my first time having sex on camera and my first time with a girl. And it was in a room full of like 30 people. It was fucking terrifying. You can tell though in that scene that I was terrified. I looked terrified. That is not really good acting. I'm a good actor, but that's not acting. That's real. The fear in my eyes, I was terrified. The director was very friendly and you know, everyone made me feel very welcome. And that's when I realized, you know, I love this business. Everybody's friendly, nobody judging me you know, slut shaming me or anything. I could be who I am. 